It's pretty amazing to be here today in the city of Gruzhansk. We were invited here by a local school teacher who reached out to our foundation a month ago from the depths, asking us to take part and partner with them in placing a monument here in the city in memory of the thousands of Jews from Gruzhansk uh, who were murdered by the German Nazis during the Second World War. And I hadn't heard really of Gruzhansk before. It's a small city about 30 kilometers north of Torun in Poland. Uh, regardless, we agreed and decided to take part um, in placing and building this monument. And then this all happened literally a month ago and a very strange thing happened. I was here just a few weeks ago in Poland with my grandmother and my family. Uh, we know we're from Dobrze nad Wisła, a small city not too far from here. And we'd always had a level of history of our family that we knew about. So we knew they were from Dobzin, but very little beyond that. Um, and the memories and, and testimonies that we had are few and far between. Uh, in fact, the only things we really have are a few pictures that were taken when my great-grandfather and great-grandmother came back to Poland in 1933 to visit, uh, to visit uh, their family, the brothers and sisters, who sadly were all later murdered in the Holocaust. Um, and one of these pictures is a picture that I've always had and, and sort of been with me. It's in my office in Poland. It's a picture that means a lot to me. Uh, we always guessed where it could have potentially been taken. We never knew where. Uh, and, and in fact, this is the actual picture that I just took off the wall this morning. This is a picture. This here in the photograph is my great-grandfather. This is my great-grandmother. And the rest of the people were, that was his brother, but everybody else, we didn't know who they were. My great-grandfather never spoke of his family uh, very much after the Holocaust. It was too painful an experience for him. Uh, and we never knew where this photo was taken. And only two weeks ago, uh, when my grandmother was here in Poland, we met with a local in Dobzin nad Wisła who was able to recognize that this picture was in fact taken here in Gruzhonsk. And Following that, we reached out to the teacher who we worked with to build this monument here today and she looked at the local register and told me that it is in fact true that my great-grandfather had two brothers who lived here in this city. So for me to agree to take part in building a monument in a city that I'd never heard of, to two weeks later finding out that this is a city that my family lived in and were taken from by the German Nazis, ultimately to their deaths, we don't know where, presumably in either Helmo or, or in Treblinka, uh, is incredibly meaningful and, 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 and moving. And so we're back here sort of for this weekend, just with this unique opportunity to place this small plaque, um, this small plaque in, in memory and in memorial of the Jews uh, who were murdered here. We just took the plaque down with the local mayor's office, uh, we put the plaque up and we took the, ser the, the bands off with the local mayor's office, um, the local politicians, and most importantly, also local students. We're now at the end of the ceremony, but if you follow me inside, we can have a look and see the monument that was placed in. It's actually inside um, the mayor's office, the local municipality. <laughs> Now if you follow me over here and just go up, we're able to see the monument that was placed. Excuse the slight spelling mistakes. But again, this is just such a wonderful uh, and important opportunity to tell the story of what once was here and to make sure that this memory is never lost to make sure that this memory remains, to make sure that this memory stays and stands as a living testimony. So thank you for joining me here in Gruzhansk and I'll see you all soon.